Hey guys, it's Red Creepers, Missing Station Man 101, whatever you want to call me. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna show you guys how to install Snail Axe, the first Will You Snail custom level editor. Now this is for the latest version. At the time of this video it is 3.19.2022. The more stuff update, also called the Weird Balls update. <laughs> But that's besides the point. Just know that things in this tutorial may be different when it comes to the actual editor itself when you're seeing this video in the future, but the install process should stay about the same as time goes on. If it changes, I'll release another video. Now, download snailaxe.zip. You can save this wherever you want. I'm going to save it in my chunk folder and drag it onto the desktop. Since this is a tutorial, I don't need to worry about being organized. And then right click extract to snail axe slash or just extract depending on where you put it here you will get how to install dot txt and readme readme contains the instructions for how to actually use the mod once you're in it but only to actually access the editor itself not the stuff we'll be covering in this tutorial but how to install dot txt contains an important link this is flips you can download it and extract it however I already have it installed, so I'm just gonna go to it real quick. Alright, once you've extracted slash downloaded flips, open up flips.exe and do apply patch. Go over to the place where you put the snail axe folder, and you should see snail axe.bps. Click open, and now you gotta choose and file the patch. So you go over here, go to right click, properties, browse. This will send you over to your will you snail directory and copy. Oh, and before I forget, switch to the sandbox branch before trying to install snail axe. If you don't switch to the sandbox branch, you will get an error saying that the patch is not made for that file. So make sure you switch to the sandbox branch and let it download first. Then, go back to the file patch window and paste in the directory for will you snail and select data.win. It'll then ask you for an output file. Again, choose data.win and it should say the patch was applied successfully. Warning, the following parts contain spoilers on how to get to the level editor. It's not, but the only reason I'm marking it as a spoiler is because it's a spoiler on some end game content. So make sure you've beaten Will You Snail and discovered the, the trick. So what you want to do is go up here and do the trick. This, you could just slide all the way over there, but this is faster. So just slide past all of these, then just go over to the place where the discovery token is, and you'll see it's up there. Now you could stay up there and ride the stream, but I just wanted to show you where precisely it is so you don't accidentally run into it or something. But once you're under it, you can just jump in like it was a regular level. Now, we're actually here in the level creation screen. This is probably going to change as time goes on but you can use the 1 through 9 keys to change your objects. However, these 9 objects are not the only ones available to you. If you press Z, you'll open up the palette menu, or just the general menu, but the only thing you can do with it right now is change the palette. You can press Z to go back to place mode, but that's not what you want to do, so press Z again to go back into this screen. Now press X, and here you can choose from a wide list of elements. It does scroll. It doesn't look like it, but it does scroll. And you can choose from a variety of different elements to put in your level. Let's say I want this, these explosive walls. And I don't want bombs, so I'm going to replace slot 6. Now, left click and drag to place tiles, and right click and drag to delete tiles. You may be wondering why the colors are so weird. That's normal. Once you actually enter play mode, 
the colors will look perfectly normal. So, spawn some walls, ceilings, floors, whatever you want to do. And make sure you spawn in a player. If you don't have a player, the game will crash if you try playing your level. Let's play some conveyor belts, some spikes, some explosive, some explosive destructibles next to some regular destructibles so we can show off their function, and a gun. And just because we can, some turrets. Now, press F2. Give your level a name. Here, I want to call it... Uh, shooty, shooty, pew, pew. I'm gonna put that name in my clipboard for later. Do you want to change squid settings? T unless you have like a very basic parkour level and you don't want squid to interfere, you'll typically want to choose yes. And here you can change the probabilities for a lot of these. Now, typically for most of these, a good value is in within the range of 1 to 10. So I'm going to set these to 5, 3, 1, 0. Now, bullet property is something you should only change when you place those turret things you saw me place down. So be careful. And unlike all the other ones, this ranges from 0 to 1,000. Meaning if you wanted 10%, you would type in 100 instead of, instead of just 10. But here I'm just going to leave it as 8. Firework probability, 0. And variable change probability. 5, 5%. Laser probability, changing this doesn't work right now. So just press OK. And what's that? Stun? You can press F1. And you will be catapulted into your level. Leaving through any edge of the screen would make you win. However, I kind of, you know, blocked us off. So we might want to make some changes. So in order to do that, press F2. And you'll be back in the editor. However, you'll notice, oh no, my level's gone. <laughs> Just press F3 and you can and type in the level name that you want to load. Because F3 is load levels. Once you hear that sound, you'll be back in the editor. And here we can make the necessary adjustments to our level. And then save again. Change say no, because we already have squid set up for our level. Now our level's fully playable. And it's just the colors. And then once you leave, bam! You've just made your first level. But you may want to give your level to your friends and make them try it out and continue the infinite cycle of suffering. So, in order to do that, you first gotta exit the game, obviously. Then, go to percent, Athena, percent. Then, Go back one folder, and go to local. Scroll down until you find Will You Snail. Open that up. There should be a folder called Snail Axe Levels. Here, you can find all of the levels you've saved with Snail Axe. Just post. And if you're in the Will You Snail Discord server, you can post your level here. I'm going to post a different one than the one we just made, though, because I already had this one. But you can post it in the server with exclamation, with exclamation mark, post mod, and the level file. Or an image, and then you can post the thing as a separate submission. That's what a lot of people do, but I don't know if that's actually allowed. So, advisably, just post the level file. Or use the URL as a description. And that's how you use the Snail Axe level editor. Hope that was helpful at all, and I'll see you guys later. Yes. Shout out to RGC Exists. He also made a Snail Axe tutorial, and despite this pesky human being the creator of the mod, his tutorial is very cheap and unprofessional, while his is very cool and funny. However, his is outdated and doesn't include certain features that would be applicable in a tutorial such as this one. So, this human made his own. I am being forced to say this. Subscribe to his channel along with this one.
Do I get a say in this? I mean, I don't mind the level editor. I just ought to be able to say hi to all the snails in the audience. Hi, snails! Uh, shut up, unicorn.